What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Oh, uh, hmm, uh, no, it's, it's, it's this band's debut. Okay, alright, we'll go with that. Alright, making their debut on the channel tonight! Tonight! We have... Tremonti, yes indeed, how about that? Tremonti making their debut on the channel. Okay, this comes as a request from Kevin Shin. Uh, Kevin wanted to see me react to the song by Tremonti called Take You With Me. Now from what I understand and what I was told in the comments, uh, Tremonti is a band that came around kind of by accident. Uh, it started out with Mark Tremonti's solo project. Mark Tremonti being from Creed and being from Alter Bridge, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he started a little solo project. And it turned into and evolved into a full-fledged band, which is pretty cool. Uh, usually that happens because, you know, they'll release a single or they'll release an album and it picks up steam. And the record company goes, well, guess what, Mark? Uh, your little solo project... You better turn to a full-blown band because we need to send you guys out on tour. <laughs> so, uh, something like that usually is what happens when that type of an ev a forced evolution is happening. Uh, or when a forced evolution like that happens. Uh, it, it's usually because the solo project gains momentum. I don't think that was ever supposed to be the goal of his solo project, but that's what ended up happening. So, you can't fight evolution. That's it just, true. It's it's a bad thing to do. You do not want to fight it. So, this is his solo project turned band, Tremonti. Okay, uh, now, have I heard this song before? Take You With Me. I don't think so. It, it does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. The, the title doesn't ring a bell, so I don't believe I've heard it. However, there's always a chance I may have heard the song in passing, and I just don't realize it. So, it's always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go... I've heard this before. I know this song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, let's see. This was posted by Napalm Records. Okay. And the video has 1.6 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. All right, here we go. Tremonti, take you with me. Official video. Yeah, that word still scares me. Official. Wow, man, freaked out. There's no guarantee it's going to get blocked, but I, I do know that Whenever you use the word official, the chances of being blocked are always a little bit higher. So, hopefully this won't get blocked. Block! Block! I guess we'll see. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this.
two, three, four, five. Ah, I'm off. Sixteenth notes in that tempo. Dang, that's fast. I, I'm I'm sitting here trying to figure out uh, the rhythmic pattern that the guitar players were playing in that verse uh, behind the vocals. They're hitting sixteenth notes off of that tempo. That is not easy to do. That is, cause, uh, I mean, okay, it's easy to do, but it's not. It's not that. It's not easy to make it that tight and together, synchronized. It. It's not easy to do that. Um, because they gotta be right together, and that quick, that that quickly and that cleanly, that is not easy to do. Very well done, very well done. Um, uh, I'm digging the feel on this song. If I'm being honest, I, I I am absolutely digging the feel on this song. Um, let's keep going. Something's I don't know. Something's kind of irking me. I don't know what it is, but something's not setting well with me. Um, and I'm not sure. I can't put my finger on it. But something is kind of, you know, something's kind of irking me a little bit. I, I will have to listen to more to figure it out. But uh, I'm sure I'll figure it out. Let, let's keep going for right now. Sounds like we're going into a bridge here. Nice. I don't know if there's a guitar solo. I, I kept waiting for like a guitar solo or something. I'm, that's why I was sitting here going, is there going to be a guitar solo? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know if there is or not. Uh, we're going into a bridge here from the sound of it. Um, I still cannot put my finger on what it is that's irking me a little bit. It's not a lot. It's just this, it's like this little pin this little itty bitty pin that's just kind of, and it's not even going into the skin, but it's just kind of like jabbing me in the back of my head. Like, eh, 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 And I'm sitting there going, what is it? What is it that's irking me? It's just bugging me a little bit. It's not painful. But it, 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 it's a little bothersome. It does bother me a little bit, but I, I, don't, I cannot put my finger on it for the life of me. Um, at first, I thought it was the harmonies. No, the harmonies aren't it. Because the harmonies sound fine. So that's not it. It's not the drumming. It's not the bass playing. It's not the guitar playing. I don't know what it is. But something is bugging me. I don't know. Uh, let's, let's keep going. Let's hear this bridge. <laughs> Now 
Really nice job. Really nice job. Um, I did enjoy that. Without question, I did enjoy that. Uh, let me think about it, and I'll see you in the review. Well, there you go, folks. That was Tremonti with Take You With Me. This was a request from Kevin Shin. Okay. Um, I still can't figure out what it is that's just kind of bugging me about it. I can't put my finger on it. Maybe, maybe during the course of the review, maybe we'll figure it out together. Anyway, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that an 8.2. Yep, 8.2. I feel great about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay. Uh, I'm going to do my best to keep this short because there really is not a whole lot to say. Um, overall... The song was very enjoyable. I, I see the appeal. I see the hook. I, I can hear the hook, definitely. The chorus is without question the hook. Um, well written, well constructed. Nothing too overly complex. Nothing, nothing overly thought out. Everything was pretty basic, pretty simple. But as I have always said, simple can be effective when it's done properly. This was done very properly. Uh, not worrying so much about making the song technical or over the top with uh, theory or time changes, anything like that. This was pretty much a straight ahead rock tune, and it it was very enjoyable. Uh, I didn't have to sit there with a you know scientific calculator, you know, trying to figure out algorithms to you know anticipate or try to figure out where the time signature was going to go. No, it was straight ahead, four four. It was a fast tempo, but I mean, it was it was four four, none all the way through, not hard to figure out whatsoever, which allowed me to kind of sit back, relax, and enjoy the song, and it, it, it was nice. Um, loved the subdivisions uh, from the guitar players, those sixteenth note subdivisions on the verses. And I, I remember after the first verse, I thought to myself, please tell me they do that again, and they did. They did it on the second verse, and it sounded fantastic. So verse, pre-chorus, chorus. chorus verse, pre-chorus, chorus, bridge, <laughs> which was nice, uh, and then it went back into the chorus twice with kind of like a solo behind the, the chorus. Very simple, strong, very simple structure. Um, the tone coming from all the instruments, really nice. I could actually hear bass on this. Uh, it was kind of in the background. It was kind of slightly getting buried a little bit. But I could still hear it. I could still hear it coming through, and it sounded really good. A nice, full, resonating tone, which really kind of helped fill up the bottom end, which is, you know, kind of the job of the bass player's tone, is to do that same job. Uh, maybe possibly brighten it up a little bit. Just a touch. Just a touch. So it makes the attack on the bass a little more present. Or maybe, maybe just throw out the presence on it. But I, I think... I mean, the presence fix could work, but I think instead, I think you'd better. I think you'd be better off uh, mixing, uh, turning up the highs just a little bit on the bass, just a touch, so you could get more of an attack sound. But that's just me. That's just my personal opinion. I'm a bass player. I'd like to hear more from the bass. So take that for what it's worth. Um, guitars, great tone coming out, both of them. Not muddy at all, which it was nice. It was thick. I've heard thicker. But I, I'm glad they didn't go too thick because then it could have gotten muddied up, especially on those 16th note runs. If you're too thick, too crunchy, it can get muddy when you're playing super fast like that. So I'm glad they didn't. Uh, there was no bleed over at all on those 16th notes. It was, it was tight. It sounded really good. I enjoyed it. Drumming was nice on this. Uh, drums were well mixed, well mic'd. It sounded really good. Uh, some great setups, especially pre-chorus to chorus uh, using the kick uh, switching the kick pattern from more of a uh, from a one and three to a one two three four pattern you know just straight quarter note pattern instead of a instead of a half note feel it, it was nice it, it helped make the transition smoother now overall this was a really well done job uh, I did enjoy the song without question um, would I ever listen to this again yeah I, I, I would I would listen to this again Will I ever go looking for it? 
Maybe I, I might I, I might add this to a playlist. I don't know. Um Maybe driving to Vegas. I don't know about anything else. I, I don't know about driving around town and I don't know about I, I I can tell you right now, not the gym. I don't think it's intense enough for me for the gym. Uh I don't know about driving around town, but driving to Vegas, I, I can see this going on that playlist. I, I can see that happening. So, an 8.2 is what's going to get. I have really no complaints about the song, other than something was irking me, and I cannot put my finger on it. I don't know what it was. Like I said, at first I thought it was the harmony. So, no, that wasn't it, because the harmony sounded good. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what it was, but something was irking me. I'll have to give it more thought. But I gotta wrap this up because I gotta get I gotta I gotta let you guys go because I don't want you sitting here for two hours with me trying to figure out what it was. So 8.2 is what I said, 8.2 is where we're gonna stay. 8.2, final score, I have spoken. Well that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you did enjoy the show and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It'll do me a world of good and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.